Good morning, descendants of Atlantis. Today, this is part two of my video on Ancient's image on the solar plasma deflection. And I want to just begin by referencing this image, which you have probably all seen. Uh, now, ancient uh, uh, archaeology people will often argue these represent light bulbs, and mainstream Egyptology uh, says that these represent lotus flowers. And it doesn't necessarily mean one is right or wrong, because we know that the Egyptians often made images with multiple meanings, and they built structures such as the pyramids with multiple uses. I just want to quickly touch on this, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we have um, the light bulbs, and um, we have, of course, electrical wiring. And this may be the goddess Nun, and this may be the goddess Nanette. I'm probably not saying that right. I apologize. I don't always pronounce Egyptian uh, terms and words correctly. And <clears throat> what I want to point out here is I believe that this also has somewhat of a, a phallic meaning to it. You can see what I mean. And I bring that up because I think that the uh, ancients understood the concept of kundalini energy and their priests and priestesses were masters of that energy. And at its core, I believe that energy is the same thing as the uh, electromagnetic energy uh, which the ancients tapped into and which I mentioned in my video, and I will get into that more. So I just want to restate my point, which you of course all know, that over time, over thousands of years, the true meaning of words and images gets lost, gets adopted to later cultures. So words that may have had a certain meaning for the ancients then might become the names of their gods and goddesses um, because they had lost the true recollection of what they meant. So in the primordial water image, which I'll be getting to in a minute, and I got to in my first part of this video series, you see that Nanette and Nun are counterparts. Uh, kind of the opposites of each other. So please keep that in mind for a moment. So here we see another image from the Dendra uh, light bulb carving. And of course we see here uh, the positive and negative, the opposites, the counterparts, one in each hand. We see that theme here repeated. And then here we see the sun, which as I explained in my first part of this video is what charges the water. It makes easy water as described in Dr. Pollock's and others' research, and which was then one of the methods, I believe, that the pyramids used to draw electromagnetic energy out of the battery of the Earth. So please keep that in mind for a moment. So let's tie it all together then by going back to the original image that I started with in this uh, video series, the primordial waters image. Um, which again, I believe has been misinterpreted and the true meaning has been lost over time. Uh, if we look at this again, we have the earth, we have the magnetic field in between them. We have all the pyramids on the Giza Plateau on the east side of the Nile, all the pyramids on the Giza Plateau on the left side. And then this huge um, electromagnetic energy of the earth being brought up out of the earth, uh, uh, above, above the earth where it's controlled by the pyramids on each side of the Nile. Uh, for our daily energy needs and also to project um, uh, focused electromagnetic particle beams into the um, magnetosphere to deflect cyclic solar plasma waves. So we have here in Egyptian mythology the goddess Nun and Nunet and remember now they are they are uh, counterparts. They are oppositely charged. So I think they represent them the positive and negative charges of electromagnetic energy, the positive and negative charges of the east side versus the west side of the Nile. And I think it's also possible that the uh, ancients actually called their positive and negative charges uh, nun and nanet in, in electromagnetism. And if you look at these uh, figures, um, the uh, sash is over the left shoulder of Nun, and the sash is over the right shoulder of Nanette, meaning, again, that they are oppositely charged, and Nanette is tipping the bow with her left hand, and Nun is tipping the bow with her right hand, oppositely charged, and these represent the magnetic charge going into the atmosphere and around the Earth. Um, Nun and Nanette, I believe, uh, symbolize also in this image priests of the sacred fire, and then these men here also represented uh, priests of the sacred fire. I think you can see why I believe that they were men. 
Now, the women, of course, are much larger, and I think that's because if you read a lot of accounts of very ancient mythology, supposedly going back to Lemuria, the women had much more mastery and more power uh, than men did, and I believe that was true. And uh, I believe that these were priests and priestesses of the sacred fire of the Kundalini energy, and I believe that the these ancients understood that the Kundalini energy was similar to the electromagnetic energy of the earth, and that's why it's all depicted together. Of course, we all come from the same cells and atoms of the earth, so to a certain extent that makes sense. Um, and I believe that they knew how to raise it and how to use it to control this electromagnetic energy and to control the processes where the pyramids operated to draw this energy out of the battery of the earth. As a side note, I would uh, ask you, please never get involved uh, with trying to raise the Kundalini energy. Uh, the experts say it's extremely dangerous and um, it can lead to insanity and disaster in your life. And I think there are some people in insane asylums who are there because uh, somewhere along the path of their life stream, they played around with it when it wasn't meant for them to do. Uh, so I think that then again, uh, the ancients may have named their cities Nun and Nunet on, on the West Bank, perhaps it was called Nun and the right on the East Bank, perhaps it was called Nunet. So there uh, probably were several possible interpretations or meanings of Nun and Nunet, the positive and negative, uh, the, the two female counterparts, uh, both sides of the Nile, and they all could have been true at the same time uh, from the ancient uh, perspective. So basically that's um, my understanding, and remember that the two f crouched female figures underneath the light bulbs, I believe, probably also signified these same uh, counterpart forces of Nun and Nunet. And uh, this understanding kind of popped into my mind when I was making this video yesterday, but it's kind of, um, kind of gotten a few more understandings since then. But I remembered after that that I also had this understanding uh, several years ago, and I think I actually sent it out in an email to a few people. But my point is that when I look at this image, that's what comes into my mind. This is, to me, this is clearly a depiction of the electromagnetic energy processes where it's drawn out of the earth and it's put into symbolism, which was so common for the ancients uh, to, ha to have done. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and forward this video to all your friends. That's my history, and I'm sticking to it.